Mark Curry, happy to have you on the platform, my guy. Man, man, I'm thankful to be on the platform, man. Thank you. Thank you, you know. Thank you, man. I mean, it's a blessing to have you, my man. Man, man, it's a blessing to be thought about. That's 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 something that I work hard on. This this being here means that much to me because you know I I never thought you know I never I know I can't say I never thought that this one day wouldn't happen, but I just didn't know when. So with that being said, for the people that's not familiar with you, introduce yourself to the people. Yeah, my name is Mark Curry. You know, I'm a former um, bad boy recording artist. Um, a lot of people, you know, I I, I made a, a lot of hits for. Puff gave him a lot of good words to say, inspiration. Um, you know, sometimes a lot of people live through your words. So there's a lot of my words that I may have gave him before in life that he lived through to help make him. Um, come from Atlanta. Um, I'm from New Jersey, New York, when I was raised, though. I, I, was, I grew up in Atlanta. Um, I'm a book author. So I wrote a book. I'm a carpenter, master carpenter. Man, I'm just... All the above, man. A brother, your brother, yo. That's that's me. I don't like to put big titles on myself because I, I feel like I could be anything that I, I want. I, I don't have like one set title of me. I think that I'm, I could be everything. So when you ask me about me, uh, without with, without me to my own horn, I just say, man, I'm amazing. For the people that don't know, right, let them know some of the hits you was a part of. Okay. Well, a lot of people know me from that one song, uh, as Bad Boy for Life, with it ain't, you know, it ain't changed that verse. Then I wrote um, a lot of hits for Puff, like let's say the Godzilla song with the Come With Me with Led Zeppelin. Rest in peace, Led Zeppelin. Um, I had the opportunity to work on uh, the song uh, uh, This Is Not America, David Bowie. Um, rest in peace, David Bowie. <laughs> Um, I wrote a several songs for Puff um, on his uh, P. Diddy and the Family on the Forever album. I might have did a single on Forever album, the um, P. 2000 with my man Roger Green. Um, just a, you know, I, I'm an artist that just so happened to become a ghostwriter by default. Yeah, that verse you had on Bad Boys for Life was dope. Yeah, Bad Boy for Life. Yeah, Black Rob, you know, you got Black Rob Muscle Game. You got um, Gangsta Sh Lil' Kim Puff, Forever. Um, man, I wrote the, the songs with like Cocaine. Um, I did the A-Ball and MJG Ride With Me. I mean, I, I did, I, I, you know, you do the discog, I have a whole bunch of songs. You know, a lot of people don't know them. Uh, uh, they don't, they'd be like, you only did one song for Puff. Or oh, this, this, this one song for Bad Boy. You check, check the history. Do the resume. I got, I got quite a few of, them. you know, what I'm saying, and there's plenty more. So that ain't that's that's nothing. Right, right. So I gotta ask you, right? You being a part of Bad Boy at one point, news broke today that Diddy he's stepping away from Revolt. How do you feel about that? And how do you feel about these lawsuits accusing Diddy of abuse? What do you think about that? You knowing Diddy, do you think he's capable of doing that, man? Do I think? Yeah. <laughs> There's no, every man possibly is capable. I do. I think he's very capable of doing it. It's in his character. That's who he is. That's what comes with power. That's what comes with arrogance. That's, that's what comes with, you know, what makes him, you know, um, power. That's just the selfishness to make you be like that, you know, but with everything that's going on, man, you're looking at, um, they dropping them left and right. Um, companies are parting ways with them. Um, all of that's happening right now because he's tarnishing his own image. What I think is just a, it's um, what I call is a character assassination that's going on right now. So it's a, it's a, just another form to silence a man, make to humble a person. You know how sometimes you got to humble somebody? You're right, right. Yeah, I think he's being, he, they making up, they, he's being humbled right now, which it took a long time. It takes a long time to humble an arrogant person. So Diddy, he's an arrogant guy. Very arrogant, selfish, all of those kind of things that you don't like. You don't, you don't never see in a, in, in a true friend or a grown man. You know what I mean? Like you're a grown man, you carry yourself like a grown man. He, he, does, he doesn't carry yourself like a friend, you know? So you're not surprised when you hear Cassie say that, you know, Diddy, he used to hit her and she had to cover up her bruises with makeup. You're not surprised when you hear that. Because I interviewed Gene Deal, and he wasn't around Bad Boy when Cassie was around. But he told me that, you know, he did the same thing to Kim Porter. 
or you could take it before then, and then you can remember when and when Misa was dating what Eric Sermon from EPMD, and that was her childhood boyfriend. Like coming up, they was the you know lovey dovey couple, and um, it was back then he used to you know do that with Misa. So you know, and one thing I always say is, as a man. And as anyone in a relationship, we often go through these kind of things. So I've seen it in friends. I've seen it in him. I've seen fights. I've seen all kinds. I've seen fights between where he have an argument, fight with a female, whatever it may be. I've seen it with my own friends. But sometimes you say, you know, we all go through things. But once you have a sign of doing it over and over and over again, that's when it becomes a problem. You'd be like, so every relationship that you get in, you ha you're violent in them? So you say, you know, I don't have to wait to see what he would, you know, I was around when 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 Cassie was there. I knew Kim Porter before uh, I knew Puff. Um, I met Misa, but, you know, it was a history. When you have a history of the same thing, man, it, it becomes a problem. Something you 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 do once or twice, you get over, you don't first you're not supposed to put your hands on a woman's way I was raised. And the only person that really put their hands on women really is people who have men who have feminine traits. So, you know, it really takes a coward to put his hands on a woman. So, you know, a man is so strong enough, we can just walk away. You don't you you can you can do it's so many different things that you can do other than get upset, put your hands on a woman. But that comes from a man who's not quite a, f a grown man. It's still a boy, like a bad boy. And speaking of Kim Porter, because you knew Kim Porter, is it true that Diddy broke her nose? Bust her nose, man. You know, but it, just, it, it was all, you know, uh, it, insecurities. Anytime a man would go out his way, to wiretap someone's phone or, or put taps in their homes just to monitor their conversation, that's a sign of insanity. So when you see someone doing that, you can't, you can't, you can, you can, you can imagine everything else they do. What do you think he's gonna do if he found um her on the phone talking to someone and and uh, or feels that he, she's cheating on him or somebody sleeping with his girl? What you think he's gonna say? Ooh, I caught you. Ooh, I heard this. Now nah, he's going to come in with the, you know, it's going to be a fight. But that's something that you've seen from the inside. When you're on the inside looking out, it's like looking at Blueface and his girlfriend always arguing on TV, they toxic relationship. So when you're on the inside looking out, you don't really see them like fighting. You just be like, they tripping. They have a, this is their relationship. It's been going on like that with them for years. So, Usually when you notice Puff was in those kind of violent relationships with his females, they was they, this been going on ever since two, three years. This ain't just something that just happened. This ain't the first fight. It ain't the last fight. You know? Yeah, I know this all. I seen, I seen a lot. I seen him walking with scratches and bruises on his face. And you'd be like, who scratched you up, dog? Who scratching you? What, you had a fight with a cat? What's going on? You know? So he put his hands on females, put his hands on producers, executives. He that's you know, that's just his was his I guess that's what the whole name bad boy comes from. That people don't really understand. What is it? What is a bad boy? What makes why did he choose that name? You know, like he never really gave a clear definition of how he feels about that name. Not yet. Could be bad business, bad friendships, bad blood, all of that kind of bad stuff. You know what I'm saying? Bad boy. Yeah.